Hi guys, it's your girl Tara. It's midday. It's Let's Talk with Tara. I am excited today. I am excited. So if you're just logging on, make sure you like this page and share it with a friend. This is going to be life changing. I am going to share with you today some life changing information about disappointment, how to recover from um, disappointments in your life. And one thing about disappointment is we have all experienced disappointments at one time or another in our life. Or guess what? Some of us are now dealing with some disappointment. So I want to talk about what is disappointment? Disappointment is simply, is simply this. It's unmet expectations. We expected something or someone to do or be something and they did not meet the expectation or some a circumstance did not meet the expectation that we were desiring and guess what what happens is this disappointment happens when those unmet expectations happen in our lives occur we become angry we become sad hurt we become dismayed Sometimes we become anxious and depressed as a result of disappointments in our life. So I just want to share with you, and I wrote a few notes down because there's so much information. I'm going to be talking about this um, later. So if you're just logging on and you don't know who I am, this is I am your girl, Tara T. Stallings. I am your professional and certified counseling life coach. And I am here to help you heal, to help you rediscover revive and relaunch your life we as ladies we are more emotional or we handle our emotions differently than men do and it causes us to react and respond differently so i'm here because it's time for us to heal it is 2019 and so many of us are still walking around bleeding from wounds that happened 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. And what is happens what happens is that um, what is happening is um, what has has happened, excuse me, I got a little tongue tied. What has happened was, guess what? It's blocking your full potential for you to live out your destiny. So we're going to talk about disappointment. Disappointment is what? Unmet expectations. Unmet expectations. That's all it is. Like and share. Disappointment can, uh, it becomes a wall. I talked about that. If you, follow, if you guys have been following me, I posted about disappointment becomes a wall in your life. And everything you do is filtered from that wall. What happens is you get disappointment from your family. You're disappointed, disappointed from your parents because they didn't meet up to your expectation. Whether they abandoned you, they were on drugs, they were uh, there but not there. <laughs> you get uh, disappointments happens occurs because you have siblings in your family that um, what we call sibling rivalry. We dis disappointment comes because of relationships with our spouses, relationships with our children, relationships with our so-called friends or our, just our friends, relationships at work. Disappointment happens all the time, all the time. And one of the things I found is one of our biggest disappointments is, is with ourselves. We expect our lives to be certain ways or we expect more from ourselves and we become disappointed with ourselves and it builds a, a wall every time we get disappointment disappointment happens in our life and sometimes it's just a combination we put a wall up we put a brick on that wall and if you can imagine with me just for a minute a huge 
wall. A twenty, you know, Trump is talking about building that wall. Um, and I'm not trying to give him any of my any of my glory in this uh uh broadcast, but we're talking about that wall. And what happens is the wall is 20, 30, 40 feet high, but guess what? That same wall becomes 20, 30, 40 feet uh, in width also. So you have a, a wide, high wall that we build in our life. We put a brick on it every time we become disappointed. And everything that we do is filtered behind that wall. And guess what? You are trapped behind the wall that you built every time you became disappointed or somebody disappointed you or didn't meet the expectation that you were desiring or you thought they had, they should have met in your life. So now you're trapped behind the wall. You're trapped behind a wall and on the other side of that wall is the fullness of your life potentials but you can't get out because you're trapped because you're still dealing with those disappointments that people or things or yourself created in your life and it's time to heal from that it's time to heal from those disappointments um disappointment disappointments can be cause us to become bitter and I see so many women that have become bitter. I see women in leadership positions, they're bitter. I see women uh, in marriages, bitter. Mm, I was one of those women at one time. I was bitter. I was bitter. I see women that have children and they expected their children to be a certain person or live up to a certain expectation. And when they didn't, they became bitter, sad, angry, regretful towards that person. And everything that they do is filtered behind those disappointments. Are you that person? Are you still living your life behind that wall of disappointments that happened to you when you were a child? Did you feel like your parents wasn't there for you? They didn't keep you safe. They didn't provide the lifestyle that you expected them to provide for you, whether that be emotionally, physically, or financially. Are you still dealing with the disappointments from your a marriage or relationships that did not meet the expectation that you were desiring or that they promised to you? Are you and have you put a wall up, put a brick? Every time something happens, you put a brick on that wall. It's time to heal from those disappointments. I'm here to help you. I want to share a story with you that happened to me about disappointment. And we as women, you know, we kind of, especially some, we kind of, our African-American women, we can be kind of cliquish and we can be kind of backstabby and we can be jealous and envious. And I don't know why, because we are all wonderful in our own right. <laughs> we are. We should be um, promoting and um, celebrating each other instead of tearing each other down. But let's talk about those disappointments. I never forget. I, I'm always, I've always been the type of person that bring everybody in. I'm the fixer up for girl. You know, I'm the, I'm the person that wants to see everybody. Even before I started counseling and coaching, I've been that person that wants to see if you connected to me, I want to see you win. I want to see you be the best you can be in your life. I want to see you accomplish all your goals. And if I could, if I was still that type of person could help you uh, or reach that goal or be a part of it or help motivate you, I'm your girl. I'm your cheerleader. Well, what happens is because of that's my personality, 
it caused me to be disappointed. I never forget I had a friend girl. I mean, I she was, I don't have any sisters, so but she was more like a sister to me than a friend. We went places together, we did things together. I mean, we shared things together, and she had a life changing experience that happened that resembled some disappointments from past experiences in her life. And what happened, she reflected that disappointment that caused her to be hurt, angry, and bitter. And she reflected that towards me. And essentially what she did was she stabbed me in my back, basically. Um, she turned on me because she was hurting because she was disappointed and I was in a similar situation, but I didn't let it affect me the way that it affected me. And I kept striving and moving up. Well, she was disappointed and hurt and bitter, regretful because of what happens is a lot of times people, when people are disappointed, when people are hurt, when people are bitter, they look for you to be hurt, bitter, angry, sad with them. And when they don't see you joining their pity party and you're still thriving and moving on and growing, jealousy set scenes, envy set scenes. And what happened with her was, you know, she kind of jealousy, envy, all stemming from that disappointment and hurt and those emotions, she turned on me. And it dissolved the friendship. And I was hurt behind it. I was disappointed with her. And it made me look at the other relationships that I had with females differently. Because I vowed this. Now, this has been a while ago. I told myself this. I would never listen to me because I know some of you guys have said this. Use that with this will never happen to me again. I'll never let somebody get that close to me. I'll never give again. I'll never do this. I'll never, 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 never. And guess what? Never becomes a wall because you're disappointed and that never becomes a wall. And what I did, because I told myself I would never allow this to happen to me again. I did two things. When people came in my life that maybe said something or did something that maybe smallly resembled <laughs> that disappointment that happened with my friend, I would cut them off. And once I cut them off, I realized <clears throat> after a while, you know, it took me a while to grow and to heal from it. I realized I did two things. I cut off my journey of growth with that person, of wisdom, of knowledge, of experience with that person, because I just related that person with the, the disappointment from the past. And I also prevented myself for being an agent of change for them, an agent to help them in their journey of growth and improving and uh, learning and wisdom. So it hurt both of us. So I had to learn how to heal from this. So today I, I have, I wanna give you two main ingredients to help you heal from the disappointments in your life. Two main ingredients. The first thing is this, if you have been disappointed by parents, siblings, coworkers, friends, if you're disappointed in yourself for not making the right decisions, forgive yourself. That's the first thing. You have to learn to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. You are a person on a life that's a journey of learning and growing. You learn and you grow. 
So you have to forgive yourself for the decisions that you made during a time when your understanding was limited. You may have been um, functioning and filtering or making decisions behind a wall of disappointment, of emotions, of anger, dismay, bitterness. Because that, that happens. So you have to forgive yourself. You have to forgive yourself. And the second thing is you have to learn how to forgive those that disappointed you. You have to learn how to forgive those who disappointed you. Because if you don't forgive those people that disappointed you, you stay trapped behind this wall. They become like a slave master. They, they control your life because they have you trapped behind a wall called disappointment filtered through your emotions of anger, hurt, regret, bitterness. You stay trapped there. You won't forgive them. So they keep you. It's like a puppet master controlling you. And half of the time, to be honest, those people don't even know they disappoint you. Because you heard the saying, hurt people, hurt people. Well, guess what? Disappoint people. Disappointed people, they disappoint others. Because I'm pretty sure I have disappointed so many people in my life. Starting with my parents. I've disappointed them so many times. So many times. I've disappointed my children so many times. I've disappointed myself so many times. But I had to learn to forgive. I had to learn to forgive. Because I did things when I was, uh, I, I, I operated, filtered through a wall of hurt. I filtered through a wall of misunderstanding, my own perception, the perceptions of others, and just downright ignorance. Just downright ignorance. So there's two ways to heal. Two main uh, ingredients that you guys need to hear. If you are ready to heal from those disappointments in your life, you need to do two things. One, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Two, forgive those who disappointed you. Forgive yourself and forgive those who disappointed you. Hi, guys. You guys, you know what? It's, it's time for me to go, but I am... I am loving this journey. I am here to help you rediscover, revive, and relaunch your life. Sisters, let's talk. Let's talk. It's time to heal. Sisters, my sisters of all nationalities, it is time to heal. So let's talk. I have a new Facebook group. I want you to join it. It's called uh, let's talk sisters it's time to heal join my group where we are going to have some in-depth discussions one of them talking about um uh we're going to be talking about the topic of uh disappointments and various other topics that women deal with that affect us so strongly that it prevents us from fully living the potential of our destiny destiny so it's been, this is your girl, Tara T. Stallings. I'm glad that you joined in. Remember, like and share. And follow me on my, my YouTube page. I'm going to upload this to YouTube later on. So if you missed it, go to my, uh, go to my, face, my website and join my email subscription so that, so that you can always get the replay and you can get the information of, the events and places that I'm going to be speaking and the things that I'm events that I'm going to be hosting in the near future. This is your girl, your professional certified, um, <laughs> your professional certified, I got a brain fog right there. Your professional certified counseling life coach, Tara T. Stallings. Until next Wednesday, I'll see you again. Remember two things. 
You want to get delivered. You want to get healed from disappointments. You got to forgive yourself and forgive those that disappointed you. You guys, remember to like and share. See you next week. Have a wonderful week. Yeah. No, I would not. No, 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 no. Thank <laughs> you.